Hey there, parents. Are you on the lookout for a fantastic school in the Bemidji area that embraces Christian values? Well, look no further. Introducing St. Mark's Christian Day School, where education meets faith in an extraordinary way. At St. Mark's, we get it. We understand that your child's education should be rooted in God, compassion, and unwavering faith. Our experienced team of dedicated educators are here to provide a top-notch education to students in grades K through 8 that nourishes the mind, heart, and soul. With small class sizes and a personalized approach, we create a safe and dynamic environment where your child can explore the God-given talents and excel academically. Our teachers integrate biblical principles throughout the day, ensuring your child grows into a compassionate and morally grounded individual. Our students are also able to participate in extracurricular activities with the Bemidji School District. For more information about St. Mark's Day School, call John at 218-444-3939 or at principal at stmarksbemidji.org. In the morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, how are you today? No, you haven't stumbled across some weird podcast made for just somebody's family. You're listening to St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, where we are all one family in Christ Jesus our Lord. And that makes you my brother or my sister. So you went to church on Easter. That's awesome. I pray that you were enriched by the word of God that you heard that day. And I pray that the Holy Spirit softened your heart so that you could truly take in the word of salvation for you. But now that's all in the rearview mirror. The days are warming up. The trees are budding. The grass is starting to turn green. Finals are right around the corner for your older kids. And the little ones are getting anxious to leave the fetters of school behind in favor of getting muddy in the backyard. And you're thinking about that family vacation you've been planning for years. Or maybe those fishing poles in the corner look more eager than your daughter's face when she thinks about that last day of school coming up. But being a Christian isn't just about coming out on Easter, or even Easter and Christmas. And it's not about fooling the big man, or making mom happy that you brought the kids out to listen to that dreary hymn music again. No, coming out to church and learning more about the stories you learned in Sunday school as a child is about growing in faith in Jesus that the Spirit of God put in you. It's about receiving the true forgiveness of sins that we all need, because we are all constantly sinning against God, and the church is where that forgiveness is proclaimed. Divine services are where the Lord's Supper is celebrated, where you receive the true presence of our Lord Jesus in, with, and under the bread. And it's about learning to live a life that has true meaning, one lived in gratitude for the mercy that our good God has shown us. It's an enduring purpose that means far more than a legacy that you might leave behind through your work or volunteering or even through your children. It's about learning to live a life centered around Christ, learning how He died to save you, to save your children, your spouse, your parents. Jesus died for all the wrongs that we have done, and He took our place so that we could spend eternity with Him. So go ahead, put on your best car hearts or whatever you got, and come to church. Get a free Bible for your phone, or maybe a real one, and read it. And guess what? If you need one, we'll give you one free at church if you come. And, if you have trouble understanding what it says, keep coming to church. We've got more than a few people who have spent their whole lives studying it, and they'd love to talk to you about it as long as you'd like. Today our meditation comes to us from Meditation's Daily Devotion from NPH. It's titled, True Teachers Come from God, and it's based on a reading from 1 John chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. May God bless our time together in the Word. They are from the world. That is why they speak from a worldly perspective, and the world listens to them. We are from God. The one who knows God listens to us, but whoever is not from God does not listen to us. That is how we can distinguish between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Why is it that false teaching often seems to drown out the true teaching of God's word? Why do false prophets often seem to be prosperous and successful? Simply put, the unbelieving world prefers worldly teachers. Worldly teaching appeals to the sinful nature. It speaks from a worldly perspective in any number of ways telling the people of the world what they want to hear. It's the voice that says, Your favorite sins are permissible, even admirable. It says, You are better than others. 
it says, Here is what you can do to win God's love. It says, Trust in yourself and your own feelings. Follow your instincts and your human reason. People listen to worldly teachers because they prefer their worldly perspective. There is always certain prosperity and success in offering what people want. We, however, are in the world, but not of it. Our heavenly teacher, Jesus, doesn't just offer a different perspective. Jesus and his faithful teachers offer a heavenly perspective, the only heavenly perspective in the world. He says, Your favorite sins are all damnable, and you need to repent of them. He says, You are no better than any other. He says, Even so, here is how I have loved you. He says, Believe in me alone. He came from heaven into the world, not just to speak, but also to do. He showed us heaven's way by living perfectly for us according to God's law, by dying innocently in our place for our sins, and by rising victoriously from death and the grave. All those who listen to the heavenly teacher and put their faith in him will see heaven, and they will also now see the world from a heavenly perspective. This is why Christians are so often at odds with the rest of the world. We see things differently. No matter what time we live in, no matter what culture we belong to, we will always see things differently from the world. But if that means that we see things from God's perspective, so much the better. Faithful teachers who confess Jesus Christ are more than just one more worldly perspective. Faithful teachers come from God and speak from the Spirit of God. They speak the truth of God's holy word in the Bible. John and the other apostles with him were sent from God. This was because they had been taught by Jesus himself and were eyewitnesses to his resurrection. Jesus called them to be his eye and ear witness apostles. Unlike many of the false prophets of their day, the apostles remained faithful to Jesus' teachings. As they spoke from God, They also wrote God's Word in the New Testament. So those who faithfully teach God's Word from the Bible in our time continue to speak from God. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. John 10, 27 Jesus has called us to follow Him. He knows us, and we know Him. Since we know Him, we will continue to listen to Him when He speaks through His faithful teachers. As we test the spirits with God's word, we are careful not to fall into error ourselves. Our sinful nature never wants to listen to God's teaching. It will try to reject God's true teachers in favor of something more to its liking. Forgive us, Lord, through your Son. Jesus calls us instead to listen to everything he has to say in his word, both what we like and what we don't like. He calls us to listen to his faithful teachers because they are sent to us from God. Lord Jesus, you have come, a teacher sent from heaven, by both word and deed, God's truth to us have given, you wisely have ordained the holy ministry, that we your flock may know. The truth that sets us free. The servants you have called and to your church are giving, preserve in doctrine pure and holiness of living. Your spirit fill their hearts and charge their words with power. What they should boldly speak, oh, give them in this hour. Jesus, forgive me for all the times I have not wanted to listen to you or your teachers. Make my heart eager to hear your word, because it is the Spirit of truth. Amen. I sincerely pray that today's meditation on God's word has enriched you. Didn't get enough of God's Word? Are you missing out on that in-person fellowship? We hold divine services right here in Bemidji, Minnesota at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school and adult Bible study is also offered between our Sunday services 
at 9.15 a.m. We also live stream our Sunday Divine Service at 8 a.m. You can ensure that you are notified when a stream is live or a new podcast is available by subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's easy to find by typing in St. Mark Bemidji in the search bar and clicking on the subscribe button. Want to listen to meditations the way I do every day? Subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app. Go to podcastindex.org and search for St. Mark Bemidji to find us. This is our fifth year producing this podcast, and there is a large archive of devotional material online available if you want to learn more about God and His Word. Visit www.stmarksbemidji.org or look in the show notes in this podcast for a link to this and many other meditations on God. If you have any questions or you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website, which is once again www.stmarksbemidji.org. May God bless the rest of your day.